And inside the one, Exum strong. Second effort, and he's got a touchdown. Off the left side, running room down the sideline for Barrel for Raquan Washington, and he's Stone King down the sideline. Catch inside the 35 and to about the 31 yard line. So it's been the big plays for the Greyhounds thus far. Here's Washington left side, and he is in for the touchdown. 33. Stone King with all kinds of time. Now comes near side. Here's Cameron Bowes with running room out to midfield. Stone King might have drawn the defense off. Could be a free play to the end zone, and it is caught! Three-man rush for the Skyhawks as they drop back. Turner in trouble, and gets pulled down back at the 40-yard line. Stone King on second down for Brian Kearns Jr. Spins away. Oh, he almost had a lot more running room. Stone King to the corner of the end zone. Oh, and a catch by Chris Darmer. Can't touch that. For Felder. Here he comes the other way. Just needs one block. And Justin Felder out to the 37-yard line. Needs six on this third down. Rushes on here. Down he goes. Boy, he just waited too long that time. They'll try Exum Strong again. He's got running room. Khalid Exum strong to about the 11-yard line. Felder, Stone King over the middle. Oh, that's got to be interference. It's intercepted. And coming down the sideline is Treshawn Bowie. And he's going to run in for a score. But I can't believe that there's not an interference call on the play. Do here, Stone King to throw, has time over the middle, wide open Domerkant, inside the 20, inside the 15, and down close to the 10 yard line. Felder in the backfield with Stone King. And it's Felder left side, and he is in, touchdown. Now Turner on first down to throw. Airs it out down the middle of the field, and it is incomplete. One on one out there was They'll try Exum Strong again. Runs into a wall, but breaks away and has the first down and a lot more. Inside the 35 to the 74 yards. Firing is Stone King and a catch at the 41 yard line across the way. What is Stone King in trouble? Throws it to the end zone and it is caught! Touchdown, Cameron Owls! I mean, just props to the whole team. I mean, nobody dropped their head. We were ready to go. And then that two-minute drill, we rep that every week in practice. Every Wednesday, Thursday, we do two-minute. Once to score a touchdown, once to score a field goal. And obviously, it paid off today. We were all ready for the moment and got it done. Probably done it a little bit. Just kind of going, taking what they were giving us. Everybody was in the right spots. Then that last play, just kind of keeping it alive. And Cam was there and made a play. Surprised yeah. how kind of open he was there in the end. Yeah, the yeah. So, yeah. We just put that play in this week. So. It was nice to, to have it work out and just crazy game. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that's the one thing, having a guy like Felder and Kearns and our O-line, like the run game opens up the pass game, pass game opens up the run game. So kind of work off each other and just took what they were giving us. Today. Yeah, yeah, they're all, I mean, stepping up, it's crazy. As a freshman, I can't imagine doing what they're doing right now. So props to them and just everybody stepping up. And this, we needed this after that tough one last week. and. Going into the bye, this is a good one to end on. So yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna keep pushing, build on this, and uh, just keep getting better on all three phases and build in to AIC next week. So ready to go. I thought the way our team responded to adversity tonight was obviously awesome to see. And being on the sideline, you know, they were riled up. You know, we had some things not go our way, and I thought our guys just used it as fuel to their fire, and they went out and executed. Um, obviously, we had to take advantage. Uh, of some penalties on their end, and we had to overcome some of our own, some some things that we can clean up and control. But just love the way that the guys battled to the very end, right? Regardless of the circumstance or the scoreboard um, or what happened on the play before, they just had to keep digging and overcome, and, and they did tonight, and they earned it. Yeah, you know, we talk about every week, like we're seeing everything under the sun from from defenses, uh, especially up front in the front six or seven, trying to stop the run against us. Uh, and rightfully so, right? We've got two really good tailbacks and a great offensive line. So, um, 
you know, I think for us, it really, you know, the, the story of the game really was that two minute drill, obviously, right? Like to get our offense the ball back, no timeouts, just over two minutes left. It's a situation we rep at least twice a week, every week in practice with different scenarios. And to see Anton and the guys, you know, lead down the field and, and you know, put it away with a touchdown was really special. That was really the, the story of the game. I think it was that last drive. Yeah, you know, and that's a that's a signature drive for Anton in his career, you know, to, to lead his team, you know, in a two minute drill to win a football game when we're down and we need a touchdown to score. And uh, he just did such a phenomenal job under pressure, managing, right? We didn't have any timeouts, so we had to go quick. We had to get first downs. And then when the play broke down, you know, finding Cam Alves in the back of the end zone was huge. So um, just really love the way the guy battled, the guys battled and responded to adversity. Yeah, we, uh, we, we game plan for some coverage tendencies that we had seen. And, um, you know, we tried to call it earlier in the game uh, and didn't get it. But uh, for that one, you know, obviously we didn't throw it on time. He kind of scrambled out and hit it as it cleared back across the field. But just such a great job by him, you know, being cool under fire, keeping his eyes downfield, O-line protecting, and, and the receivers working, right? It, it wasn't on time. It wasn't on schedule. And it doesn't have to be clean or, or pretty. It just has to be effective. Our, our receiver group is a, is a really talented group. They're very young, right? They're very inexperienced, and they get better every single week. I think the best thing about those guys is just their work ethic and their mentality, right? They, they're so cool under pressure. Um, they're competitive. Uh, they're so steady in their approach, and that's why we've seen them get better every single week. And, you know, you're talking about guys that have, you know, this was their – fourth college football game, whether they're a freshman or a sophomore with no season last year. I mean, this is the first time they're in these experiences with the lights on and a crowd in an actual game scenario. So it was great to see them respond. Yeah, I thought defensively, you know, we didn't start great. That, obviously that first drive, uh, give them a big play early, um, some poor tackling and some run fits uh, in, in those first two scoring drives. But we settled in nicely. Um, you know, I, I thought we did a good job in the second half, obviously, of holding them to a field goal when we had to. Uh, you know, the touchdown that they scored obviously was was on an interception return. Um, so I, I just thought the guys battled, right? And that's you can't ask for much more of your team. It's just to play your tails off and and leave you know leave no doubt. And they did that tonight. Yeah, you know, AIC is a really good team. They they've got another game coming up this weekend. Obviously, we've got some things that we've got to focus on. Uh, one, getting healthy, right? And two, really focusing on us and our development and who we are and being the best version of ourselves before we start worrying about an opponent. Um, but obviously going into the bye with a win is, is how you want to do it. So.